What up, YouTube? Team Moose here. Since I'm doing my views for Pixar films, here is my review for the 2017 film Coco. Now, Coco is, of course, directed by Lee um, and Chris and uh, Adrian Malona, and it you know won the Oscar for Best Anime Feature. I mean, Coco, of course, uh, ended up becoming Pixar's first film with a uh, Latino uh, lead, which I thought was uh, really decent. I mean, Coco is. A terrific watch. I mean, uh, of course, it is uh, the elite um, kid in this is voiced by a by um, an actor named Anthony uh, Gonzalez, and here uh, it's where like um, his family's generation, uh, you know, has a uh, ban on uh, music. So uh, Miguel dreams of becoming a accomplished musician like his idol uh, Ernesto uh, de la Cruz. Who is actually voiced by uh, Benjamin Bratt. That's a pretty good casting right there. And so he ends up finding himself in a, a stunning and colorful land of the dead. It's a bit of a weird film. I mean, it's it's where, like, dead characters come to life. You know, uh, it's like the um, it's like a zombie film for kids, you know? But, of course, he ends up... Um, he also ends up meeting this uh, trickster named uh, Hector. And the two... Uh, and they both embark on a extraordinary journey to unlock the real story behind Miguel's uh, family history in this film. And his uh, his mama um, is voiced by Alana Abak, who I thought the mother in this was really uh, terrific. There is also really a uh, nice uh, moment between the um, you know between uh, Miguel and the uh, grandmother and his uh, grandmother um, abuela, voiced by Renee Victor. You're gonna need tissues if you're watching the uh, their chemistry together. I mean, yeah, the uh, grandma scene is very touching. Of course, you had uh, Gail Garcia Bernard who voiced the character of Hector. Uh, you had some really decent uh, voice talents in this film. Sofia Espinosa was great. Like I said, this was of course Pixar's first film with an all Hispanic cast, which I think was really um, terrific there. And of course, um, the film score actually won two Oscars. It won uh, Best um, Anime Feature. And I think it won Best Original Song, if I'm not mistaken, uh, for um, the song Remember Me. I mean, I still think this is us from Grand Showman Show 1, but Coco is, like, that song was really decent. Uh, it, it got a little bit weird at times. I mean, this movie is, of course, um, a kid's film, but I would say this up front. There are some stuff that will probably uh, maybe terrify the young ones, so keep your eye out for that one. Uh, but that aside, Coco, the, I, I remember um, watching this thing in theaters uh, when it got released. I adored it. Uh, it. The music was great. The animation style was terrific. Great voice cast. I mean, if you guys have really seen Coco, definitely give it a shot. I mean, I'm a little surprised that uh, Pic uh, Pixar never decided to do a sequel to this. But Coco is still a really decent film. So definitely watch it if you guys never seen it. Anyway, let me leave you guys. Have you ever seen Pixar's Coco? If so, what's the other? Were you a fan of it? Were you not a fan of it? Uh, and would you ever have loved to have um, been down to see a sequel to it? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Timu, sign out.